guys, welcome back to Amazing Animal Inc.'s YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, like this video, leave a comment, let us know what you guys think. Um, today we are going to kind of do Reptile Room Tour 2.0, and this is going to be all of our big outdoor reptiles. Yeah, so we've got our uh, tortoise yard, we've got a handful of salcatas, and a gopher tortoise, uh, Frank the Tank, our big alligator snapping turtle. Dexter, our big green iguana out here, and of course Godzilla, the American alligator. Yeah, so let's check out all of our big outdoor reptiles. Cool. Alright, so it's breakfast time for our tortoises. So we've got a bunch of yummy greens for them. And they go through a lot of produce every day when it's nice and warm out like it has been. calcium on there too for him. All right, so it's breakfast time for our tortoises here. This is Righty, our gopher tortoise, and he is a native species uh, found right here in Florida. They are protected due to habitat loss, so we have permits to have him because he was injured. He's missing his front right foot. Tortoises are excellent burrowers, and gopher tortoises are considered a keystone species here in Florida because the burrows they dig provide homes for hundreds of other animals. So Righty can't be out in the wild again because that right foot being gone uh, makes him unable to be able to dig those burrows and keep nice and safe and protected. So we have him here to be an ambassador to teach people about our native wildlife and give him a good home. So I make sure he gets enough space to eat with the big guys here. So our other tortoises are our salcatas or African's birth eyes. These are the third largest tortoise in the world. They can get about 200 pounds and live almost 100 years. So getting one of these is a lifetime commitment as a pet. And unfortunately, we get a lot of calls for them roaming around here in Florida because they will dig right on out of your yard when they get big. You put them in the backyard. Uh, we actually have two feet of concrete going into the ground around this exhibit so they can't dig out. Uh, because if they are found roaming around in Florida, they get a lot bigger and they're going to compete for our gopher tortoises habitat, which isn't a great thing for our ecosystem. So we love our tortoises. Uh, they go through a lot of produce each day for us. And they're pretty awesome. Their little shells actually have nerve endings. They can feel you petting them. Uh, that shell is going to grow with them. All right, guys. So this is Godzilla Gator. And he is almost four feet. He's about 40 inches long. And he weighs about 15, 20 pounds, and he's getting to be a big gator. He's getting to realize he's a big boy. We've had him for about six and a half years now. Um, he was a runt. He was, um, someone caught him out of the wild when he was a little baby, and that person got uh, in trouble by Florida Fish and Wildlife. And uh, they put him in a bathtub and an aquarium in his house for a little while, didn't feed him the best of foods, so he got stunted with his growth. He is getting to be a normal size gator now he's catching up so he's a little undersized he should be about six foot right now six and a half feet um alligators can live about 80 years in the wild and they're an apex predator here in florida they're all over in the 60s and 70s there was hardly any gators though and the florida fish and wildlife came in and put rules and regulations on them to protect them and then the numbers started rising and rising and rising and now there's still a protection on them it's not as strict as it used to be there's over a million alligators here in florida and unfortunately over 2,000 gators a year have to be destroyed because they're what's called nuisance alligators and what that means is people feed them people teach them to come up to you and expect food to come from you and when you do that you're training that alligator to come right up to you and if you don't have food you can become food that's the real main reason why alligators attack here in Florida is because people feed wild animals. So we tell people all the time, never feed wildlife, let them live. They know how to get their food. It's good for animals to have a healthy fear of humans because that keeps them at a distance. That helps them stay away from us because they don't want to be near us. If you feed them, they come right up to you. Um, he has some really cool adaptations. A lot of people ask us, what is the difference between alligators and crocodiles? Here in Florida, it's one of the coolest places in the world. It's the only place where alligators and crocodiles share the same habitat down in South Florida in the Everglades. But he has a really U-shaped snout there. Crocodiles will have a V-shaped snout, a little bit pointier. And you can only see the top sets of his teeth there. And on a crocodile, you would see both sets of teeth.
So this is Dexter. He is our uh, big male green iguana. And yes, he is a green iguana, even though he's pretty orange. Uh, the big mature males will turn orange like that to attract the ladies. Um, Dexter was an ex-pet, so unfortunately in Florida you hear a lot of issues with iguanas right now because people get them when they're cute, tiny, little bright green babies and don't realize uh, he's about six feet long. This is a huge commitment. They have very sharp nails. Uh, he's a really sweet iguana, but some of them can be pretty feisty, so they're not the easiest of pet choices. He goes through a lot of produce as well for us. He's got lots of fresh greens. He likes to lay out in the sun. Um, so we love having him, but we like to tell people, do your research before you get some of these animals, because as cute as they could be as babies, it's a really big commitment to have one as a pet. Oh, big guy. <laughs> He's about 65, 70 pounds. He is an alligator snapping turtle. They are native to the southeastern United States. These are one of the larger freshwater turtle species in the entire world. And they have like the second strongest bite force. Their tongue is actually a little lure. And what that means is they use it to drive in prey items like frogs or fish. They wiggle it around and they want something to try to eat it thinking it's a worm, and then they snap their head off. These guys don't move very much. They are um, ambush predators. They stay really still their whole lives. They can stay submerged under the water for like three whole hours. And they are really long lived, all right? These guys um, can live about 60 to 100 years, some even over 200 years, a really long time. Ooh, he's looking at you. He is super heavy. And we got Frank. He was um, brought in to Florida illegally with about 75 other alligator snapping turtles. Thanks, buddy. And unfortunately, the person that had them brought him in from Louisiana, didn't know they were illegal. And that person got into a lot of trouble, had to surrender all of his turtles and now they live with so one of them got to live with us and we have a special permit for him he's got blood worms all over him oh, yeah. Thank you guys for checking out our vlog today. Um, reptiles 2.0, all of our outdoor reptiles. We have gotten a lot of reptiles in over the years and some of them we've had a really long time. Yeah, a lot of them have some pretty interesting backgrounds. So we hope you guys enjoy learning about them. Uh, hopefully how to properly care for them, doing your research before you get a pet. And I'd love to see some of your comments on what was your favorite reptile out of uh, both of our past two reptile uh, tours that we've given you. That'd be yeah. Fun. Definitely. So thank you guys so much. Um, stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Follow the rules. Stay <laughs> home and uh, go out there and do, do something, something amazing. amazing.